Hey guys, today we're talking about short covering and a short cover rally. Also, this may impact something called the dead cat bounce. What are all those things? Let's get right into it, guys. I'm Rob Tatro. Thanks for tuning in. Short covering, first of all, is a trader or an institution that is covering, meaning buying shares in the market to cover a short. What's a short? A short is when someone borrows securities and sells them in the open market. They are effectively betting that a stock will fall. So if I'm shorting a stock, I am convinced that it is overpriced today. I want to bet on that stock falling. So I will borrow it from another institution, a bank, a, an investment firm, a lender of securities. I borrow those securities. I promise to pay that firm back the shares. And I also promise to pay them a rate of interest to borrow that share. The more risky the play is, the tougher it is to secure these shares the higher premium I'm going to pay that company for borrowing their shares. So I borrow these shares. I pay a premium to that firm. Now I have these shares. I can sell them. So now I would sell these shares in the open market. I get cash. I get cash from selling short. And now I wait. The idea is that I'm going to wait for this market to fall, for that stock to fall. And then once it falls enough, I buy it. I then give the shares back to the firm that I borrowed it from and I have covered my short. In theory, I make money if the stock drops. I borrow the shares at $10, I sell them in the open market and later I buy the stock at $9. I've made $1 of gain on a $9 purchase. So I've made about 11% on that trade minus the fees that I had to pay to borrow the security. This is called shorting. Now, most retail investors are not doing this on a day-to-day -day basis, and I wouldn't advise you to do it unless you absolutely know what you're doing because most people lose on shorts. You know why most people lose on shorts? It's because the market historically goes up, and most human beings are wrong. They are emotional when it comes to investing, and they end up doing the wrong thing more often than the right thing. Short covering is when there is a large interest in a short stock and then buyers come in and they take their gains by buying stock. So if everyone is shorting the market and they kind of decide roughly at the same time to be buying back in, in other words, taking their profit, that creates an uptrend in that specific stock or in that specific sector. The stock is going up because there is buying happening. You've borrowed the stock, you've sold it. That has caused the stock to drop, right? You're selling, selling, selling is downward pressure on the stock. More sellers than buyers, the stock goes down. When the stock goes down, you then start rebuying. And then if everyone covers their shorts at the same time, you get a rally. You may have sometimes heard of a short cover rally or a dead cat bounce. These terms are used oftentimes by traders to reflect the recovery that happens once short sellers have decided to take their gains off the table. So they have covered their position, they've returned the stock to the firm that they borrowed it from, and they are out of the trade. They have covered their short. That bounce is often called a dead cat bounce. Think of dropping a cat, the cat bounces, that's the short covering, and then sometimes you see the market fall again from there. Now, that's how shorting works in general, but trust me, it's not that easy. If you borrow security and you sell in the open market today at $10, you're thinking it's going to go to nine or eight or seven or six bucks and you're going to make a ton of money. Well, what happens when the stock goes to 11 and 12 and 13? Every single day, the firm you're invested with will mark your shares to market and they will tell you that you either need to bring more funds or you need to sell your position because you're trading on margin. You're going to have to either bring more cash or buy those securities to cover your short. And if you're not able to bring more cash, they will buy out your security for you, which means you've now lost money on that trade. Remember, when you're shorting, you want stocks to go down. If stocks go up, you lose money on that trade. Be very careful if you're shorting. It's not an easy trade to make because remember, long term, the stock market goes up.
Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com. If you'd like to book a new obligation consultation to chat about this or anything else on your mind, go to www.speaktorob.com. Thanks for taking the time and tuning in. I will see you in the next video.